garage sale. A lot of different stuff in here. Pretty eclectic, huh? <laughs> yeah. This a chef hat right here? Huh? Is that a chef hat? About to cook something up? What are you asking on these paintings? These are these ones. Any of these? Five dollars each. Five each? I kind of like this little guy jumping out of the... That's what he was just talking about. There's one yeah, over the one there. Over there. Yeah. Probably the same person. Oh, dang, the, the, the chef hat, this little candlelit thing, and that. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. That's a, that's a good deal. Well, steel is what you're about to say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you know something. What do you think? I can't figure it out. It looks like it says Paden 3. But then... Shit, if it was a Jean Michel Basquiat. Yeah, yeah that's what it keeps popping up. <laughs> Because I guess that that was one of my favorite artists. Padnery is what it's just trying to tell me it is, but yeah, that's what I was thinking. If it was, it'd be worth a ton. Yeah, <laughs> now you're talking millions if it was yeah. Basquiat. It looks like it. What do you got on this? Three dollars. What'd she do for a living? She was a Finnish singer and she married a U.S. diplomat, so oh, she was retired. Didn't yeah, that's what again. Oh, Grace. this guy. We cannot do this, Grace. <laughs> What's up, man? One of my old buddies. <laughs> this reminds me of um. Remember at Burger King? Yes, the, the Flintstone glasses. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. There's a whole set of it right here. Like whiskey tumblers. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of when I opened one of those up. I was like, oh, that's the first thing that came to mind was them French Flintstones. How much are these? Huh? Yes, more than that. I'm about to get all this too. <sighs> yeah, those are really cool. They're worth some money, aren't they? Maybe thirty bucks a piece, maybe. I don't have time nor That's what I the say. Some of desire it's... to post everything. And then you gotta find a buyer willing to buy it and ship it and all that. Some of the stuff if it's signed on the bottom. You know, like yeah. if you could see a signature or whatever. The but, thing about the artwork and things like that, you gotta it. find the audience for that kind yeah. of stuff. You gonna, you gonna put us on I'm gonna put you on here. So they sold me a ten million dollar. Suckers. Yeah, that other, the one over there. If that's signed on the bottom, it could be worth pretty good money. Because so, sometimes you can't even. Take. Please don't drop it. I won't drop it. If I did, I give you the money. It is signed. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. How do you know? You gotta look really closely. You see the edge of that? Oh yeah, I do. It's signed by him. Probably worth. What do you see? It's probably worth like three, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. He kind of looks like Carrie, doesn't he? I do see that. You I see think. that? Yeah. Tapia. Nah. Work call. All right. So how much for this lot here? The whole box. Oh, the whole box. Now that you tell me this, how do you feel about forty dollars? Forty dollars is a good deal. Forty dollars is a good deal. All right, fifty dollars. Fifty bucks is a good deal. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. Um, <laughs> oh man! All right. Chris so now that you've agreed to it, what do you, what do you value this at? Honestly, like I said, the the cups and stuff like that, probably like thirty bucks a piece. Like yeah, I said, if you have time, if you have time to list it. it and then ship it and find the right person. Yeah. Some of the pieces, like the sign pieces, are going to be worth more money. Like that one there. Oh, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna one. say. I don't know. I'm gonna say 300 and under, maybe. Yeah, but still. But you'd be surprised. That maybe not. My mom had to wrap and put in a box. You know. The smallest know. pieces could be worth pretty good money. You know. Which one you getting, Grace? Huh? Which one you getting? What am I getting? Oh, two right here. These three. Okay. And then the box and stuff. That's nice. This is nice. 
Nice piece. <laughs> you can she, have it. You can keep your ass. <coughs> she's not. No, she's not I'm, no, you can have it. She's Seriously. You know. I'm happy. Are you sure? I think yeah. Positive. Yeah. Hundred bucks. Just got a gold mine, huh? No. But I will make money off of it. Well, you gotta do some about. research, huh? That's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine with us. Yeah. All right, I usually hate it when people do like recaps of what they found, but I kind of wanted to break it down for you all as like a learning point here. Um, because this was a, this this sale, I went to this sale, it was 12 o'clock in the afternoon. People had been there all day and there was still really, really good stuff that was overlooked. And um, the sale actually was of the lady, the people that were selling the stuff, I guess this was their aunt, but her name, I ended up grabbing, she, she wrote her own book. It's in, it's in, she's from Finland or something, so I can't actually read this thing, but her name was Seja Lampilla. And she married an American diplomat, and she was a, a singer and uh, an artist and hung out with artists. And if you flip through the book, she had uh, photos with like Dizzy Gillespie, like <laughs> and other people. Like she was, uh, she was out there and she was living life and, uh, she was a collector and appreciated things obviously because I could, I'm not even kidding. I could feel her soul when I was grabbing these things. I touched everything. I picked everything up, looked at it and touched it. But I'm going to highlight a few things that I did pick up. I picked up this shell just because I thought it was beautiful. And, um. Uh, and all this stuff that I ended up picking up mainly was from this guy, uh, Tapio Orcala. If you look at the edge, you could see that it was signed here. 1955 Tapio Orcala, Italia. Um, but I put this piece up for $400, immediately had some watchers. Somebody sent me, I had a few offers come in, sold. I'm already in the profit. Um, but I got a bunch of other things like these glasses that were made by him, not signed pieces, but more mass produced pieces, but still sell for like 30 bucks a piece. And one of my favorite ones was this glass, these glasses from him, they're like whiskey glasses. These look like they sell for like a pair for like $80. And then last, I got some paintings and I was just bought this painting because I was drawn to it, but it's from a famous artist after doing some research, uh, Nicola Padura. And he had recently just was featured in an exhibition, I think in Romania, Romania, uh, with, uh, he's more, this guy's more known now for his bronze sculptures, but he was in the room with Picasso. Um, I was drawn to it. I can see this guy here, his arms out. He's an Indian rider, or riding this horse. Here's the horse's head with the legs there, both their legs are flailing out. I was just drawn to this piece. But um, like I said, he's a well-known artist. Looks like some of his recent bronze works have sold for like six grand. So I don't even know what these would sell for. There's three of them. Um, this is my favorite one. But if I did some research, maybe reached out to an auction gallery or whatever, maybe I could sell that for a $10 million. Suckers. <laughs> Suckers. It was a cool sale, probably a really overlooked sale. We cooked. Flea market. See if we could find anything. Some, something tells me this guy already got everything though right here. Gangster. <laughs> One dollar. Thank you. Thank you. There's a big box here of hanger stuff. And at the bottom, a bunch of the stuff had fallen. got done at the flea we got the uh green center swoosh out of the bottom of that damn moving box 
I showed up there at 11 o'clock. I mean, it's pretty kind of thrashed, but... Look around the hood. It's pretty thrashed. But, um... That's going into the person. Um... Pulling up to that J-Dub, two minutes till open. I ain't been at a G-Dub in a week and a half. Uh, just been at home watching Lena. One, two, three. Whoa. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I've been selling things. I started taking things out of my personal collection and selling them. I have a lot of stuff. We got a giveaway today and I got a package to open. But I don't know if there's people here today. We'll bring it in. And see. But we're about to open up. Listen to this. I lose control. That Teddy swims. Hit this J double O date. Z. Look at this. Right, look at the fade on that. I've been sevenfold. 2005. Yeah. I thought it was like a. I thought it was a like these. Oh. Nikes. That's you, like. Oh, I thought it was 3DM. Yeah, that's what I thought when you picked it up. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is that? There was a few old things though. It's like West Virginia. That's ours. This is a car hurt. You want this car hurt? Mm -hmm. Take it Oh, this was like, this was just good. I thought those were silver tabs. There was man. another pair in there. Same good. Old Fila's. And then there's a hundred dollar military jacket. It's a flight deck jacket. It's like a, uh, oh, that's the one. This is for you. Huh? Robin Hood. That's that one. <laughs> the pimp hat's fire. Strappy threw me the pimp hat. I think it's beaver. Happy. You want this? That's a, you're not getting it, I'll get it. That should look good on you. Oh, it's yeah. nice. Why would I get that? I wear fur hats in the winter time. Look how good it looks on her. Oh like shit. Shut up. Her, 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 and Pat, her and Pat out there at the casino That's right. and the high roller. Crack of this coming to you, baby. Is he a Ninja Turtle guy? Oh, he's a big Ninja Turtle guy. The, the, nin, the Ninja Turtle Yamaka. Hold on. <laughs> got to pull it back further. I got to straight out the sewer for him. <laughs> All right, I say whoever can slide the furthest on the sled wins. 36%, but this thing could go down. All right. We got a giveaway. Today's giveaway is sponsored by Jack Thrifts. Jack Thrifts. Jack Thrifts. Shout, Shout, Shout out Jack. Shout out Jack. We're missing a couple of main characters today. Where's uh, where's, where's Zach at? Zach's testosterone is seriously depleted this week, and he can't get himself out of bed. Zach has low T this week, apparently, is what they're saying. I think saying. it's more like no T, honestly. Oh. And, and Reagan's where? North Carolina, I believe. Okay. Your dad are stuck in traffic. I tried calling him. I tried calling him. He didn't answer. So I'll let you. Uh, I just want to see what I want. Oh, he double packed in. it. Okay, yeah. He might have labeled him. Give away for the boys. Give away for the boys. That was are you? And for me. All right. Okay. It looks like one is bigger than the other. Yeah, so the one for the boys is definitely bigger. It might be longer. I did a little, I did a uh, little reconnaissance in here. Okay. And there's a. Uh, I'll say from from this bend to you see the guy in the, with the gray hair down there. Yeah. Easter just passed. Uh, what we're gonna do is a little Easter egg hunt. There's a golden egg in here somewhere. First person to find the golden egg wins. It's in one of these bins. The golden egg, huh? It's like golden, golden, egg, a big golden egg, big golden egg. Can? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> oh, no, I did. Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> that was quick. I, I, th I thought I had it with the first one. I guess oh, that's I the Shout out Jack Thrifts. Go check out his YouTube. The, big, the biggest shout out Jack Thrifts. See, I thought this was it. And I couldn't find the bottom. I was like, yeah. Scrummaging through the motherfucker. All right, I see mine. Shout out. Uh, Thank you, Jack. Go check out his YouTube. He's also just got sponsored by Whatnot this week. Uh, Ooh. Just got sponsored by Whatnot this week and uh, is running the rap tee that he found. Oh, cameraman's all over oh, the place. Oh, shit. I got ADD. Okay, let's do it here. Oh, big time banger. Oh, a little love note. A little third grade note passing. A little love note. Oh, I ain't gonna read it. Get your boy over here, tear <laughs> it up. Sexy note. <laughs> Okay. Little blues piece. Oh, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All right, once again, shout out Jack. Oh, I see light, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, the lightning taker. That one is fire. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jack. He's my good size, size good too. Size. Good size, good tag. Fire. A little smoky. Damn. You gotta throw the hair back like Taker does. Look at this. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Just taking a peek through the glass section, make sure we ain't got no mid-century modern sign pieces in this joint. This piece actually catches my eye from a lot. It's definitely crystal. But it's not signed. Look at this cool Scotty. Scottish Terrier coffee mug. Shit's fire. I always look at everything. One time I went to a yard sale and it, uh, they had coffee mugs can be worth a lot of money too. But uh, I came up on, I think it was Black Rifle Coffee or it was a certain kind of coffee. I forgot which one it was, but the coffee mugs sold for hundreds of dollars and I got like seven of them. I made over a G in coffee mugs. I paid $5 a piece. Uh, so any category, there's always grails to look for. Boy Stardust sent me another, uh, sent me a package. Gonna open it up. Look at the jets flying, man. That's a good thing. Got that America over here. Oh, what the hell? I don't think so. Oh, this shit's fire. Is it? <laughs> Bro, no, he did. Oh, my God. Bro. Tell me it's not the same. No, he didn't. The hey. Robin Hood of Goodwill Scripps. Fuck. <laughs> the Robin Hood of Goodwill Scripps. Imagine it was sports specialties. And the sound vision. Whoa. He had that made. That's, there's good people yeah. in this world, man. That shit is fire. Super fire. <laughs> wow. That's badass. That really is. He said he was gonna get something made. Oh, he's got his he got his thing in there. Oh, so he makes this. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Even better. With the green underberm and everything. Super good. Oh, he blessed. <laughs> and that's a that's like a that's a vintage. And this trophy. is this is that vintage joint for the for the type one when I rock the type one. That good conductor brim. I got that type one on. This is the this is the other hat. Shout out, my boy. That's fine. Sound plus vision. Thanks, bro. This shit is fire. For real. Go check my boy out. Sound plus vintage dry goods. He got an eBay. He got all kind of unique shit. I know I see him rocking the hats. So he got like World War Peace. He always wears that one. And he got some other ones. I think he made like some Nirvana ones. Um... 
but damn this shit is this shit is really really cool man i really appreciate that man had that one-on-one -on -one made for me go show him some love robin hood of goodwill's out baby it's not important that you become a good fighter in this world and it's not important that you become a good spiritual guide in this world it's important that you find a way to live a pleasant life and in the best case support other people that they also find the same this is what it's about no matter in which form you put it and which from cultural background you put it the main idea is if you don't find this way of reducing the suffering of your surrounding your suffering won't stop.